Today we're revisiting this bad boy after a very crazy year. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So if you're a long time watcher, you know that one of the first videos that we've made was actually a review of this amazing piece of kit, the Fujifilm 50 to 140 mil XF telephoto lens. And you know, you can check the video up there, but today we're gonna talk about my experience after a whole year of using this bad boy. This lens is the equivalent to 70 to 200 in full frame. And usually people talk about the Canon and the Sony version of it. And not a lot of people know about this particular model, which doesn't take any merit from it because I think it's probably one of the best lenses that Fuji makes for the X mount. And it's a true competitor when compared to other brands, you know, like Canon or Sony. So after using this lens more and in different scenarios I still have that feeling that I had when I first started using this lens and I gotta tell you again this glass is so sharp I love this glass I love the construction and the quality that this lens provides just for a fraction of the price when compared to the competitors. The beautiful crispy portraits, the amazing landscapes, street photography, you name it. This lens is truly a workhorse. Now, when it comes to size, this lens is quite big when compared to other Fuji lenses, but compared to other 70 to 200 in the market, it kind of feels quite small, especially when we're talking about the other f2.8 models. Usually f2.8 models are huge and then f4 models are a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, but then you lose on the aperture. But in this case, because this lens is built for an APS-C sensor, it doesn't need so much glass. So you have the form factor of, let's say, an F4 version of a 70 to 200 from Canon or Sony in a Fuji lens with APS-C sensor at f2.8 all around. So you have all the benefits from a small form factor. You have f2.8 all around and you can easily carry it back and forth with no problem. Now let's talk about video. This lens is really, really nice for video. The glass is not only sharp for photography, but it's also amazing for filming. Now, I didn't have a lot of chances to go outside in the wild and go crazy with the lens because, hey, COVID, but from all the things that I've done during the year and some works that I've done with it, I gotta say, I'm very surprised with it. Autofocus and face tracking work really, really well. Now, when it comes to handheld and you're trying to go, let's say at 200 mil and you try to use autofocus, sometimes it's a little bit tricky, but it's expected because it's a very long focal length. But when it's on a tripod, for example, it works so well and it detects your face and detects any object very easily. It's really, really nice. Also, OIS, in-lens stabilization, works really, really well. Now, in the first video, I gave a lot of praise to it, and I still love it after a year, but obviously after a year, I found it's little little imperfections and little errors that the stabilization does in certain movements. Sometimes, you know, when you're going handheld, uh, it's a little bit choppy, you know, like when, when it tries to stabilize, it kind of tries to reset. But once you get used to those little mistakes and you try to fix it with your movement, you kind of flow along with the stabilization, you can get a very smooth shot. It's beautiful. As you can see, I'm a big fan of this lens and a very happy customer. But to wrap it up, is this a good lens for you? Now, let's recap. This lens is cheaper and smaller than any other 70 to 200 out there. It makes it very affordable to buy and it makes it very light to carry around and travel and do all the things that you like to do. And also the fact that you have f2.8 all around and a super, super sharp glass makes this lens able to take amazing pictures of people, nature, street photography, you name it. It makes this lens super, super versatile. For video, this lens is really, really great. It has OIS and it's amazing for dramatic shots, interviews, live music, you name it. You can do pretty much anything with it. So 
if you're just like me who needs something that pretty much can do anything and is cheap and it's built like a tank then you should definitely get this lens so guys these are my thoughts about this lens after a year of using it again i am super happy i am very satisfied i literally didn't change my mind after a year i love this lens and i'm still going to use it forever and ever and ever literally until it breaks i would literally buy another one if this one breaks it's this good it's one of the best lenses from fujifilm and it's definitely one of the best lenses I have. I hope you get one of these bad boys. They're really cheap and probably now in the holiday season or maybe you can get some discounts in some shops depending on your country. You should definitely pick one of these up and just have fun with it. I promise you that you will have an amazing time and you will have amazing pictures and videos with this beautiful lens. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, it's been me and I'll see you on the next one, yeah? Ciao, ciao. Sure.